Hey everyone, this is Blendmaster here with another Photoshop to Blender tutorial. And today I'll be showing you how to recreate Photoshop's water paint effect or streak effect. I'm not sure what it's called, and if you guys could let me know in the description below or the comments below, I'd appreciate that. So what we're going to do is take this image here, and I created this in my previous tutorial. If you want, you can check that out. I'll put a link in the description below. And basically we're going to take this and put it into Blender's compositor and we'll get this. The water paint effect that's similar to the effect in Photoshop. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is give this cube here a cloud texture. So just change this type to cloud. Then we'll head over to the compositor. Now the reason I gave our cube the cloud texture is just so that we'll have a cloud texture in our scene and we can use that to create our desired effect. And if you haven't seen my uh, fake rain tutorial, you should check that out because in that video I also use a similar technique to add rain by using a cloud texture. So now what I just did is add in our image and we're going to add in a bilateral blur knob. And I was just experimenting around one day with this and came across this effect and thought it was pretty cool. So I'm just going to share it with you guys. I'm also going to explain this bilateral node because I know not many people use it. So first thing I did was play with this iterations value and I found out that if you increase it, it actually increases the size of our blur. And if you increase the space sigma value as well, it also increases it. They do absolutely nothing different. They do the exact same thing. So if I were to set this to 1 and 5, we'd get this image, and if I set the iterations to 5 and the space sigma to 1, it would be the same exact image. And this means that they have the same exact value, scale, and everything. Then I decided to play with this color sigma value, and I saw when I increased it, it did nothing, and when I decreased it all the way, it did nothing either. So I tried to change the color, and I thought that would do something, but it does nothing at all. So that's why I decided to plug in an image, and I got a cool effect. That's what I'm about to show you guys. So let's bring in our texture right now. So Shift A, Input, Texture, then select our cloud texture, and then we'll view it. And what we want is for this to be scaled and really skinny so that it's vertical, or the clouds are vertical. So come over here to the scale, and we're going to increase the X to 30. This is what I meant by vertical. We want it to be like really skinny and going from top to bottom the lines. And then we're going to decrease our Y value to 0.5. Okay, that's looking good. Now I'll add in a filter blur, fast gauge and relative Y. And I'm going to set this Y value to 5. And that's just a subtle blur to smooth out the edges so it's not really harsh. If you want, you could leave that out. Now I'm going to view this bilateral blur and plug in our image into this determinator. You can immediately see that we're getting a nice cool streak effect inside of Blender. And if you want you can play around with these values to get even a bigger uh, blur. I might increase that to 3. It's looking nice. might increase that to 10. Yeah. Could also increase this value or decrease it. I think that looks nice. And now when I played with the color sigma value, you can see as I increase it, what it's doing is actually blurring out the image from that uh, original looking. But when we keep it at 0 0.01, it's sort of displaced by this cloud texture. And that's what creates this cool water paint effect. So now, if you want, you could leave it like this, or you could even rotate it. So I'm going to press Shift A and add Distort, Rotate. We're going to rotate this by negative 20, so it comes in from an angle like that. That's looking pretty good. But if we view this rotate, you can see that we have this big transparent area, and that throws off our image and adds a little transparent edge here which we don't want. So to do that we'll have to scale up our image. So press Shift A, Distort, Scale, 
I'm going to type in 1.6 by 1.6. Now there's no edge left. If we view it, we can see our image. And it looks pretty nice. So if you want, you can play around with these values a little more, increase the iterations or decrease it. You can even increase the scale maybe to 50 and you get skinnier lines. I think that looks pretty good. So I'm just going to plug this into the composite node now and then render it out. And there you have it, a cool water paint effect inside a blender. So thanks for watching guys, I hope you learned something new. If you have any suggestions for future tutorials or you want to see a different Photoshop effect done in Blender, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And please share your results with me, I love to see what you guys create. And as always, thanks for watching. Bye.